We're continuing our long IFR cross-country flight, which we started with our departure from Renton and overflight of SeaTac. For the full series, check out the page on our website linked here or in the description. You can play along with us on your own in the sim or fly the real thing if you're nearby. Let's start getting ready for the ILS into Olympia. We'll put the ATIS 135.72 on COM2 and flip it active. While we're getting the ATIS, we're going to set the localizer frequency for the ILS for runway 17, 111.9. Let's load the approach into the GPS by hitting PROC, then scrolling to ILS 17, hitting ENTER, then choosing WHOM as the initial. We're just loading it for now because we're still on that old vector assigned by the last controller. Let's finish the brief. The final controller is on 121.1, so we'll put that into standby. Tower is 124.4 and ground is on 121.6. We're joining from whom where we'll cross at or above 2900. There's no procedure turn if we join from there so we fly straight in. After Yaisu we go down to 2400 which is the glide slope intercept. We'll fly the needles down to the circling MDA of 720 and when we see the runway we'll break off. We don't yet know if it'll be to the right or left and circle the land 35. If we go missed, it's a straight out climb to 1400 followed by a climb to 5500 along the 176 radial from the Olympia VOR, so we'll want to set that VOR into NAV too. We'll fly to Cetra and hold. DME or radar is required. Our GPS can be substituted for DME and we're indeed in radar contact now. The runway landing length is 5500 feet. The big risk for this approach is that we're circling and we're shooting the approach opposite direction to the active runway and might be broken off the approach by ATC. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, turn right, direct whom? Right, direct whom? 518 Foxtrot Tango. It sounds like maybe our controllers have been coordinating in the background and maybe the final controller is okay with us doing the ILS after all. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, contact approach 121.1. 121.1, 518 Foxtrot Tango. Seattle Approach, Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, 4000, request ILS 17, circle to 35 with Echo. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, Seattle Approach, it's your lucky day, they're not busy at Olympia, you're 9 miles from whom, cross whom, at or above 2900, cleared ILS 17, circle to land 35. Cross whom, at or above 2900, cleared ILS 17, circle to 35, 518 Foxtrot Tango. We'll make our way down to 2,900. After whom, we make the left turn inbound along the approach course. We stay at 2,900 until crossing the intermediate fix, Yisu. After that, the approach goes active and we switch over to VLOC mode on the receiver. We can also descend to 2,400, our intercept altitude. We fly in at that altitude and when the glide slope needle comes down, we reduce power and get configured for the approach. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, contact Olympia Tower. Contact Tower, 518 Foxtrot Tango. Now, I did actually manage to fail to switch over to Tower in the video, but let's say we flipped it active and then set ground on standby. Olympia Tower, Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, ILS 17. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, Olympia Tower, circle east to the field, runway 35, clear to land. Circle to the east, runway 35, cleared to land, 518 Foxtrot Tango. We're going to bring it down to the circling MDA of 720, Level off, and when the CFI tells us to remove the hood, we commence circling to the east, entering a right downwind for 3-5. We need to hold altitude until we're in a position to land. We're low and slow here, so maneuvering carries some extra risks in the circle to land, but we get it down on 3-5 and exit the runway. The member 518 Foxtrot Tango, contact ground point 6. Contact ground 121.6, 518 Foxtrot Tango. Olympia Ground, Skyhawk 518 Foxtrot Tango, off runway 35 on Golf, request taxi for IFR departure to McMinnville. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, Olympia Ground, runway 35, taxi via Golf, Whiskey, and I have your clearance on request. Runway 35 via Golf, Whiskey, 518 Foxtrot Tango. We're going to leave it there for this video, and pick up the next one with our departure to McMinnville. You can head over to the website now and watch that. Click the link here or in the description to go see the full flight series. See you there.